When you open up AutoCAD for the first time, you might see an environment that looks like this. If you don't, look up the very top of the window here. You'll notice the, the workspace area. I've got AutoCAD Classic selected, and if you click on the down arrow, you'll see the other workspaces available. Uh, AutoCAD Classic is the 2D work environment, typically, that has most of the commands we'll be using. Drafting and annotation is sort of a subset of that, a smaller version but, uh, of, the, uh, of the command set. But AutoCAD Classic is what you want to select. That'll give you the toolbars you see on the left-hand side as well as above, and also the drop-down menu you see here on the pull-down menus. You also see at the bottom of the screen a command window. Now the command window can be repositioned. So if I take my left mouse button and drag this up at the very top, you'll notice that if it docks, docks like this, you'll see at the very top. Also, what you want to do is probably look at the color combinations we have here, possibilities for both the model environment you see here, as indicated by the model tab, as well as the layout. If I select the layout, you'll notice it's a white background by default. The white background is a little hard to see once we place our drawing out here, once we're finished to plot this from here. Colors are not readily available to be seen, cannot be seen on the white, the white background, as you can imagine. Colors like yellow and obviously white will turn to black, but you have white and uh, lighter colors. But in order to change that, just move the cursor up into, the quickest way to do this is move the cursor up into the command window and right mouse button click and choose options. And you'll notice right here there's a color button. When I select that, it already knows I'm in the sheet layout environment, which you see in the background. And also the color in, in the uniform background is white. I can change this from white by selecting that and choose black. Come down and say apply and close and click OK. So now I have both in the layout environment and the model space, I have those as black backgrounds where the colors can be seen. Again, you can change the colors to anything you want. If I go back up to the right, to the command window, right click and go to options. I'm in the model environment, as you can see back here. If I go to colors with this setup, automatically it knows I'm in 2D model space. Uniform background is, is now black. And some people like to work in other colors. You can maybe dial this back so that the black, the black is instead of maybe a gray color. You can slide the bar up here, maybe have a light gray background, click OK, apply and close. You see you have that kind of environment. So you can make it customize it however you'd like. Uh, but typ typically, you want to have something that has uh, the background that you can see the colors against. And a black background is typically a good uh, way to start. I'll choose to go back to the black background, apply and close, and then click OK and I'm ready to go. Uh, one, thing, uh, one other thing here that you'll see further on in the uh, tutorials is the ribbon bar. I'll add that one manually, R-I-B-B-O-N is the command for ribbon, and that pops in the new interface, the newer interface, I should say, and that gives us sort of the commands that we have on the ribbon bar, as you see here, versus the ones on the toolbar. So I have line here and line up here also. So the, the ribbon bar is, is another uh, avenue, another uh, addition to the environment from the default workspace.